Political party chairs wield enormous power in this state, and Monmouth County is losing theirs. After engineering a stunning Democratic upset over two Republican Assemblywomen in the 11th District, the now former chair of the Monmouth County Democrats has stepped down to run for the state Senate against a Republican stalwart, Vinco Powell. Why are you running? Well, uh, thanks for having me on. You know, it's it's been uh, four years as being party chair, a voluntary position. I enjoyed it. We got to elect some great local elected mayors and council people, uh, two great legislators. Uh, you know, I, I really want to tackle some of the issues facing New Jersey, and I think I can do that as a state senator. What are the most pressing issues facing the district and the state? I think we've seen uh, politicians on both sides of the aisle, Democrats and Republicans, for far too long uh, play too many of the same political games. Um, we have pressing property taxes issues. We have a mass municipality problem, 566 towns, parking authorities, sewage authorities. These school are not districts. school districts. These are not popular issues to take on. And I think both parties have failed on this issue. And I want to go in and try to bring some consensus and work hard to really help the taxpayers of the state. That's going to be hard. Your first order of business, I understand, is reducing property taxes. How are you going to get that done? You know, Senator Beck, my, my opponent, sponsored uh, an ADP program, property tax program, which is actually currently under criminal investigation by the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office. It was a, a program that was, uh, it, it had a lot of improvement today, but at the time when she sponsored it, it was not well thought out. Many people's taxes went up. We need to seriously look at our school funding formula. We need to seriously look at our overall property tax structure. Uh, we need to look at this, this grip of municipalities and government that New Jersey currently has. You've called Senator Beck a foot soldier for Governor Christie. What do you mean by that? You know, I can't think of one issue that Senator Beck has not been on both sides of the issue. And I think that's really what's frustrating a lot of people in the state of both parties. Whether you look at property taxes, whether you look at the gas tax, which she was vocally against, and now she's endorsed uh, uh, the, the sponsor of the gas tax, uh, Declan O'Scanlan, in a neighboring district for, uh, against a, a non-gas tax candidate. Uh, uh, Amy Hanlon, whether you look at marriage equality, whether you look at women's health care, whether you look at gun violence legislation, she has been on both sides of every she issue. She did vote against Christie on the um, deal where he would be able to profit from yes. writing a book. As did, from as did everybody, and it's easy to do it when the governor's at 18 percent, but for seven years she stood by him every step of the way, even serving on his leadership team uh, when he ran for president last year. I read your announcement uh, that you were running, and it was more against Senator Beck than it was about your own credentials. Is this going to be a rough fight? No, I don't think so. Look, I, I'm uh, proud of my story. I'm a lifelong Monmouth County resident. I own a successful business that now has 14 employees. When I started my business 10 years ago, uh, I was the only one there. I went months without taking a paycheck. I worked very hard. Uh, I've, I've, I've been a board member of our county chamber of commerce. I am very passionate about the economy, creating jobs, and ending the political gridlock that's existed. And I think Senator Beck has been in office for nearly 20 years as a lobbyist and as a legislator. And I think it's just simply Ten time for a change. Ten years as a legislator. Ten years as a legislator. Uh, prior to that, she was in the General Assembly. Prior to that, she was a council person in, 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 in Red Bank. Prior to that, she was a lobbyist. I think we just need some new blood in there. And that. if you lower property taxes, how are you going to get the reven re revenue you need to handle all of these states' problems? New Jersey, because of the last several governors, not just Governor Christie, has severe, severe economic problems. And I think we need both parties to come together with a Democratic governor, who I will believe will be Phil Murphy, uh, to come together and really solve some of these economic problems. And we can do that by solving the school funding program, by solving uh, the issue of 566 municipalities. We have towns in Monmouth County that have a population of two, three, four hundred people. And, and they have full municipal services. That is a That hurts every taxpayer in the so state. So you would go to shared services. What do you think about uh, Governor Christie's fairness formula of changing school funding? I, I think it's a terrible formula that he has. I support the one that Senate President Sweeney and Assemblyman Hotelling and Assemblywoman Downey have uh, in the 11th District, which examines, the, which takes the politics out of it and actually gives fairness. That way you don't have legislators in different areas of the state um, wanting to get money for their district. I think we need a fair formula. All right, Vin Gopal, thanks Thank you for being very here. much. Thank you.